Hello there, footy tippers. Welcome along to our weekly look at AFL with Mark Dragasevich, former Richmond player, and myself, Russell Barwick. And on Friday, we've got Collingwood taking on St Kilda. And thanks to Centibet.com, who are proud sponsors of the Saints. Can the Saints turn things around after another loss in New Zealand? They've got the 10-day break, as do the Pies, but all the whatever break it was from Anzac Day. Can they turn things around? Oh, I don't think they can this week. Um, don't underestimate the loss of Tuvi to the structure of Collingwood. Uh, he's going to be a, a big loss going forward. But the Saints have still got <clears throat> uh, Montagna, Rewalt, Hayes doing their thing. It's the gap in the middle that yeah. the improvement isn't coming from. They're not kicking enough goals up forward. They Sure, they scored enough goals to challenge Sydney in difficult conditions, but they're not kicking 21, 22, 23 goals to really destroy a back line at the moment in their forward line. They don't have the guns. I was about to say, they don't have the guns. That Kaczynski's not the answer anymore. No. Um, so, yeah, I can't see them kicking a winning score against Collingwood. OK, we can spend a lot of time on this game or a little time. Essendon, by how far against GWS, who've uh, got the second-year blues? Well, you're thinking 100 points. I'm um, telling you, there's the there, go to centrebet.com, work out what 100 points plus margin is for the Bombers, because they'll be winning by 120 plus. The improvement in the Bombers has been outstanding. outstanding. And Hibbert off half-back, uh, I think they're going to get Hurley back, so uh, poor old GWS this week. Going to be a long afternoon for the GWS boys at Etihad. North take on Port in Tasmania. Uh, North, for me, are the best side, sitting on one win by a mile. They will get this done. Winning form Port is good form. Port. I'm going for Port again. Adelaide will play Hawthorne without uh, Tex Walker, of course. Uh, where are they going to get the goals from now? Um, okay. So Hawthorne will go over there and have yeah, a win. Hawks have lost Cyril, but they still have Buddy. Now Richmond take on Geelong at the MCG. Unlucky last week, the Tigers... Tigers are robbed. Yeah. Hey, but I picked Fremantle, so it didn't worry me. And what about this one? Are you going to pick the Tigers? No, I'm not. I think Western Bulldogs showed... The style of football you can play against Geelong is hard and contested in and under and then spread that they uh, can trouble sides, but they just weren't good enough. So, I'm going to uh, tip the Tigers against the Cats. I reckon the Cats wow. might be due for a bit of a falter. Gold Coast take on Fremantle at Metricon. Interesting game. I think this is my upset of the week. I'm going to go with the Gold Coast. They beat them last year there. Charlie Dixon on fire and Gary Ablett, of course. So, uh, Gold Coast. I think it'll be a lot closer than people think. Sydney take on Brisbane at the SCG. The Swans in winning form should be too strong. Carlton will beat Melbourne at the MCG. West Coast... Injuries everywhere take on the Western Bulldogs. Surely they can win They this. need some guys back. They're costing me in the tips as well. The Bulldogs are impressive, but I just don't think... I'm going to go West Coast. I'm giving them another try. The open spaces... Oh, Drago. Going the favourites uh, on centibet.com. Mm. Don't know what it's worth, but let's have a review of his tips. Like I say, no surprise. He likes the Pies, Essendon, North Melbourne... Uh, Hawthorne to beat Adelaide, Geelong to beat Richmond. You like Gold Coast in a bit of an upset. And then on Sunday, the favourite Sydney, Carlton and the West Coast Eagles.